Hey, what's up everybody? Avery Looper here at M2C Racing, and it's finally here. We're dropping the shock kit, finally. You've been seeing Rich Duper Bash and RC Dude 81 rock these things to the moon and back. We're ready to show you this new kit. We're not just going to show it to you. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it together. Let's check it out. All right. This kit is 7 millimeter shock shafts and 7075 T6 aluminum rod ends with Delrin bushings. And we also have a Delrin cartridge kit with silicone O-rings. So I'm going to go through this process with you real quick and go over a couple of highlights. We're going to do it straight off the downloadable instructions that are on the listing in our website. And the first thing we want to mention, we want to get our shock oil drained out, poured in a cup. The first thing we want to mention is that there is a very important washer underneath your shock shaft, on your shock shaft underneath your piston here. Make sure you retain that. It's very important. It's kind of like a bumper for your shock piston. So you'll make sure you want to keep that and set that aside and make sure you get it in there. Okay, well, I've already disassembled my shocks and what you're going to want to make sure you got, you don't have to have it, but it's highly recommended you get these shock shock pliers. All right, you'll want to disassemble your lower cartridge that's on your stock shock with a wrench or maybe your shock pliers if you don't have the flats like like I do on this one. Okay, you'll disassemble that and you'll remove that like it is here and you'll just be starting with your shock body. Your spring cup takes our special insert which will Press in and lock, very secure like that. And you want to make sure that you either set it on a block or don't put your finger on it under it and hold it in your hand like so. I'm going to go ahead and set it on a block because we have to drill this thing out so that it will accept the seven millimeter shock shaft. Okay, so let's let's pop that out and set that to the side because that's now ready. Next what you'll want to do is get a little bit of shock oil or grease and coat these O-rings. That's going to be one, you're going to want to do that first before you do anything else. Let's coat these O-rings and let's go ahead and set them to the side. All right. And put a little bit on your shock shaft. Okay, now we're ready for assembly. I probably should have gotten another rag, but I didn't. Okay, so we're going to put O-ring, spacer, O-ring, and then we're going to put the top of our cartridge system in. Next, we'll take our included screws and we'll get them started with our 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. No, don't tighten these down yet. We just want to get them started. Like so. Next, you'll insert your shock shaft through the bottom or the top, doesn't really matter. And then you'll snug these up. And all this information is included on our downloadable instructions that are on the listing on our site. Okay, you'll want to make sure that the shock shaft is moving freely, and it is. Then you can snug these up. Don't over tighten them, it's a little teeny screw. Now, this is a big, heavy car, so. You can expect to have a little bit of resistance there. That, sh that should even have some resistance with the oil on it. And the oil is very important. So now I'm going to put this O-ring on. Get it up into the groove, like so. Make sure everything is very clean. Very important to make sure everything is clean. So what you'll want to do next is install your washer. and your shock piston and your nut. Now this is where 
the shock pliers come in so handy. You'll want to use the small portion of your shock pliers and grab the shock shaft way up here by the piston and you'll tighten this up with a wrench. We're just doing a demonstration so I'm not going to get crazy with it. Okay, next we're going to ensure that our shock body is clean and then we will I'm going to twist it backwards till I feel it drop because this is a plastic thread going into a metal part and now I'm going to screw it in and we're not going to over tighten this I'm going to tighten it as tight as I can with my fingers and then I'm going to grab it I'm going to grab it up here by the thread so I'm not creating any pressure in this thread this is a very thin piece of material I'm going to take my adjustable wrench I'm not going to go crazy on it I'm just you can see how much wrench pressure I'm putting on it. Just a couple of fingers worth. You certainly don't want to strip that thread out. Now, the rest of this is probably covered in your manual or on multiple videos as far as how to bleed the air out of the shocks. That's about it. I also wanted to include that we have this shock shaft and aluminum shock end kit for the 8S RTR models for the budget-minded basher who just needs a good upgrade to get good and solid while this is for the extreme basher who wants to go to the moon and back and keep going. Alright, I'm Avery Looper, M2C Racing. Go to m2cracing.com and check it out.